I grew up in Southwest Florida where there aren't many Mormons. Most of the time I was the only Mormon in my school. And it was interesting because when people found out that I was Mormon, they would usually ask me questions. And this gave me opportunities to talk about the gospel and share my beliefs with others. And that's what I want to talk about today, growing up as a Mormon. Growing up, most of my friends knew I was Mormon because my brothers and I would constantly be going to church activities and I would talk about what I did with my friends. When my friends would find out that I was a member of the church, they would mostly just say something like, that's cool, and we would continue playing Super Smash Brothers. But every now and then I would end up in a religious discussion with them. I remember one morning we were eating breakfast at school and someone brought up the topic of life after death. We all went around the table and gave our thoughts on what we thought happens when we die. Most of my friends thought there was definitely life after death, but all had their own broad interpretations of it. When it was my turn to share my beliefs, I just shared the whole plan of salvation, step by step. After we all shared our beliefs, one of my friends looked around at everyone and then pointed at me and said, yeah, I think he's right. And that was the end of the conversation. It was cool to see that the plan of salvation still resonated with those who didn't know about it and they were able to extract truth from it. I also remember another time at the end of PE class in high school when my PE teacher said he wanted to ask me something before I went back inside. He asked me if I was religious or if I believed in God. I told him that I was and that I was a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. He said that the reason he asked me this was because he noticed that I was different from the other students at school. He said that he had never heard me use curse words and that I was always willing to help others in class and this made him curious on why I acted this way. I shared some of my beliefs with him like the Godhead and the restoration of the gospel. This was the only occasion that I spoke with him about the gospel. However, I thought it was interesting that he had noticed that I was different from the other kids. This taught me that people are watching and listening to me all the time. And this is why it's important to be an example of the believers at all times. This can be difficult if you live somewhere where there aren't many members of the church because you are more likely to experience fear of being judged by others for living the gospel or be tempted to join those who aren't members in activities that might not be in accordance with the gospel. President Thomas S. Monson once said, As we make Christ the center of our lives, our fears will be replaced by the courage of our convictions. This is something I truly believe and try to live every day. I hope these experiences help you be a better example to those who are around you. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and remember to subscribe to continue watching more videos. Talk to you later.